Greetings everyone and thanks for joining us on this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring an iconic historic abode turned museum that's located off Chartres Street in the French Quarter of New Orleans, Louisiana. Renowned for its slew of famous past tenants and infamous now as one of the more paranormally charged places in what many consider to be the supernatural capital of America, are you sure you're ready to brave the history and hauntings of the BK Historic House and Gardens? Historically, land now holding the Beauregard Keys House, or BK for short, was initially owned by Ursuline Nuns, who, in 1825, would sell this particular parcel of land. And just a year later, in 1826, one Joseph Le Carpentier would construct a home on said parcel for he and his family. In 1833, Consul of Switzerland John A. Merle and his wife Annis would purchase the property from Le Carpentier, after which they would construct an adjoining garden, and by 1865, the expanse was purchased by local grocer Dominique Lanata, after which Lanata would rent the space out to General Pierre Gustave Teton Beauregard upon his return from the Civil War. Beauregard would reside on site with his three children, his sister-in-law, her children, and his sister and her children, making for possibly the most haunting part of this upload being a household literally chock full to the brim with kids. Just non-stop kids. All day, every day. <laughs> In 1904, heirs of the Lanata family would finally part with their weathered estate and would sell to wealthy wine merchants from Italy, being the Giacona family, proceeding which Corrado Giacono, who resided on site with his father Pietro and mother Maria Crossafisa, would convert the basement into a sprawling wine cellar in support of their family's ever-expanding business dealings. Like something straight out of a Scorsese flick, Corrado would go on to marry one Rosanna Punzo, and the couple would welcome eight children into the world. However, over the years, their success would be threatened when a band of local extortionists, by some accounts the Sicilian Black Hand, would attempt to bleed them dry. While what truly transpired behind the closed doors of the rich and powerful may never fully come to light, after purportedly receiving several ominous letters, Pietro invited four of the men involved in this scandal over for dinner. Because what could go wrong, right? It's told that during their visit, these men drank copious amounts of that fine Giacona product, becoming exceedingly inebriated, and by around two in the morning, that the situation had escalated to the point at which Pietro was forced to shoot the four men right on the back porch of their prestigious residence. Three of the four men would die where they fell, while the fourth would attempt to flee, but would later be scooped up by the cops and taken to the nearest hospital. While Pietro and Corrado were initially charged, after a brief legal battle, the case was dismissed entirely on blatantly obvious grounds of self-defense, and the family would be able to live and run their business in peace moving forward, and from the comfort of their own home until its sale in 1925 to General Allison Owen. In 1944, prominent author Francis Parkinson Keyes would acquire the aging old property and would set to work on her own mess of restorations, repairs, and modernizations in an effort to better preserve it. Over this process, Francis would establish the Keyes Foundation as a long-term solution for the house following her death, and preceding her passing in 1970, like clockwork, the foundation would step in and would open the abode as museum space. The fully restored Victorian-style Beauregard Keys House and Gardens remains open into the present, hosting countless events and harboring all manner of authentic Beauregard family artifacts, alongside Keys's studio and collection of rare dolls and porcelain teapots, while offering guided tours six days a week. Fitting the bill as your classic haunted house, the BK site is rumored to harbor the many spirits of those connected to its bounds and lives since past, and those frequenting the premises have reported doors that open and close on their own, lights that flick from on to off suddenly, leaving all present in darkness, and objects spied moving or even floating about inexplicably. Many have described the constant feelings of being watched, of being followed, or of being touched by presences unseen. Footsteps and strange knocking and dragging sounds are heard emanating from the ballroom and an ethereal woman in a long white dress has been observed drifting eerily about the halls. Some of the most commonly encountered entities on site are claimed to be those of various Civil War soldiers, who are often spied either marching about or standing in place gazing into the distance with a perturbing, vacant stare. Incidentally, many of said accounts also include phantom musket fire or the smell of spent powder or of blood, and it's believed these occurrences are likely tied to the multitude of war artifacts kept within the museum. Subsequently, the spirit of General Pierre Gustave Teton Beauregard himself has been encountered across the property, and was even documented by Frances Keyes herself, who noted that his essence appeared to be searching for someone or something. 
In life, Pierre and his wife Caroline would marry in 1860, and sadly, she would pass on in 1864 while still awaiting his return from the war. A number of more recent encounters with Beauregard's spirit involve another spectral form, being that of Caroline, and to date, the two manifestations have actually been witnessed on multiple occasions dancing and laughing together in the ballroom, sometimes to what sounds to be the echoes of music of a grand ball planned by a loving wife which never came to pass. Another common phenomena witnessed at the BK House and Gardens are phantom cries and gunshots of more modern firearms heard from the back porch, which, surprise surprise, is believed to be related to the three wise guys put on ice courtesy of the Giacona family. At this same location, one ghost hunter discovered a large cold patch right near where the shootings took place, while ghost guides claim that trails of blood manifest often, and that guns have been witnessed waving through the air as if carried by unseen hands. Finally, while activity at the BK House and Gardens can get unnerving at times, its grounds are also said to play home to several friendly animal spirits, the first of which belongs to that of Caroline, uh, which obviously holds no blood relation to Caroline Beauregard if anyone was confused. Caroline, who it's believed is the spirit of a cat that was buried under the stair in the back corner of the courtyard, has been known to manifest suddenly from foliage or from dark spaces, scaring all present before fading away or walking directly through solid walls. Another pet-related legend tells that following Frances Keyes' passing, her cocker spaniel, Lucky, climbed into her bed and died of grief. Several have reported encountering Lucky's presence from time to time, and one famous account details a blind visitor who swears her seeing eye dog was reacting to another dog when the room around them was supposed to be completely empty. Thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. If you enjoyed hearing our histories and ghost stories, subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone you feel deserves a good scare. We'll catch you all next time.